yeah. I'm a ladder thing too. I signed up. So I'm going to stream my uh, run playing on it. But of course, you should watch everyone else play on 2G Gaming uh, whenever we do uh, stream that. I guess it's next week on the 23rd, starting on the 23rd. Yeah. That would be really fun. But now we're getting uh, Wadi and Utopian Ray. Utopian Ray's banjo against, you know, Wadi's patented Rob. Definitely uh, the character that's had him the most success in Ultimate so far. Yeah, I'm pretty curious how this match will go. Only because I feel like Rob's gyro is so good at shutting down Banjo's like neutral camping strategy with the yeah. the egg and the neutral V. I forgot what his, his egg like gun thing is called. Uh, Regal gun or something like that? I'm, I'm going to look something. it up. Yeah, something similar. Yeah, yeah. I know forward smash is called Regal Bash, but I'm not familiar with the name. Oh, nice Wonderwing, though. He literally just waited for the one opportunity for Wonderwing to be, like, super likely to hit. <laughs> I think a lot of people, too, when they're fighting a Banjo and they're just, like, you know, they're dealing with the matchup and then the Banjo is not using Wonderwing at all, you literally forget that he can use that move. <laughs> yeah. So this is good for a Utopian Ray to get that first stock. So the grenade is called Grenade Firing and the eggs are called Brickle Blaster. Excellent neutral air from Wadi, and immediately he's trying to tie things up as soon as possible here. 149 on Utopian Ray. Nice. But that's the crazy thing about Banjo, man. His landing abilities can be really difficult to deal with, specifically because the way the grenade works with the bounce, the way that Wonder Wing is, you have to really commit to trying to track down on Banjo. But I like this from Utopian Ray because he uses all those tools to buy himself time to get back on the stage. This is a down throw up air, and that'll be the stock here. Wadi is still down at deficit of 82. It's also tricky too because Banjo doesn't ha just have two jumps, he has multiple jumps. So then you have to. <laughs> it's really weird to follow his landing a lot of time because he just has so many mix ups, what he could do. Yeah. Also, shout out to Shu in the chat. Really good friend of mine in the Discord that we're in. Oh, right, yeah. Right. Roddy is really struggling at getting around the, the grenade. Yeah. And I really like the different tricks that. Toby Ray is doing with the grenade. Like he has like Z drops and Z catches, mixing up the timings. It's like very, very hard to deal with. And there's that Wondering again. Uh, the way he's using the Wondering too is he's just catching Wadi overextending just a little bit, and then he just hits him with it. Like he's not just throwing out the Wondering hoping it'll connect. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a very slippery banjo right now. Okay. I'm surprised he went for that. That mash out of the down throw was insane, by the way. It looked like Rob didn't even finish the down throw animation and, <laughs> and Banjo was already out of there. Yeah. I actually, ah. so, I actually thought Wadi would just throw Banjo off the stage and then try to get like a side B kill. That shot has a lot of active frames here, so it's really tough for Wadi to make that landing there. This is a rapid jab, Wadi off the stage, Ray with the grenade play once again. He's got to watch out for the landing there, because like I said, the balance is in trajectory is very different each time. Brigo Blaster, no confirms. I Actually, funny thing is, Terror Bear is really excellent at confirming into Brigo Blaster. This is a grab, down throw, the mash out read, and it's done. Dude, so well, so well played from Utopian Ray. Man, Wadi, just, he, didn't, he didn't have many answers to the way that Utopian Ray is playing this character right now. So Banjo good. is no, no, not to put down Utopian Ray because he's obviously one of the great players from the East Coast. We, you, a lot of players may recognize him for using Rosalina and Luma in Smash 4. Even in this game a little bit, I've seen him go the character still, but also being able to use Palutena. But Banjo on Wi-Fi is a ridiculously hard character to, to really fight against. It's a character that requires a lot of matchup knowledge because like we mentioned in Strides, he has so many tools to land, but also to oppress you and to force you to hold shield and to let go of shield. That's how Ray has been getting these Wonder Rings too. Every single time he tries to like go for an option out of shield, there's Wonder Wing in his face. And we know that it has really good startup, but also really good, what, oh God, I'm losing the name here. Um, Armor, there you go, armor. I'm, I'm like dropping words here. It has really good armor to go through a lot of Wadi's tools here. I think the really trick, the trick here for Wadi is how much can he get Ray to hold the shield, but immediately Wadi is gonna drop this Rob 
for what Ooh. we thought was a character that Wadi has dropped. It's gonna be the Mewtwo, the character that he was known for very well in Smash 4. Mm. I'm surprised. I'm assuming this purely because of confusion. Yeah, you're able to send back projectiles. But also being able to jungle a character like Banjo is really strong. But one thing to notice, if your combos are not true, very similar to characters like Luigi and even Rob, you will get reversal because that grenade is frame one, just like how the can is for Duck Hunt Dog. Oh, well, Wadi with the Mewtwo here, he does have some options uh, as far as, like, edge guards go with Mewtwo. But, mm. oh my god, speaking of edge guards, he's a true with light. The disgusting Wonder Wing kill actually just completely obliterating Wadi off stage at such an early percent. Even when Wadi looked like he kind of had a beat on what he should do with his character in this matchup, now he finds himself on the back foot once again. Yeah, it's a stock deficit so early is really rough. But we'll see how Wadi can make this back up. Honestly, he still has some tools to come back on the stage. Look at that. Immediately with the confusion, he's able to not only get Utopian Ray, but also the grenade as well. He's got to watch the landings because that's important. Neutral get up. Let's go for Ray, too. He uses his Nair to actually beat out the get up from Wadi. Ray is just like all over Wadi right now. Such good movement with the grenades, too. All right, doesn't care to use all the Wonder Wings there. Honestly, with how early it kills Mewtwo, he's probably was banking on just getting that kill and being up. <laughs> it doesn't matter, he's still got the Death Rock till <laughs> He doesn't need the extra Wonder Wings to kill. Still living the forward air. Nice, with the grenade recovery. And it dodges the Shadow Ball. Oh, what a great catch here. Sensing that Ray is pretty much exhausting all of his options at the ledge. Go for the punch with the forward air. Get the stock, but Wadi is still down a whole stock deficit. I mean, it's going to be a lot of homework to be done, but we'll see how Wadi pulls it off. He is able to come in a little bit aggressive. And I think that's where Wadi succeeds here, is in the aggression that he's able to put out. The minute he's able to catch Ray. Almost gets the oh. down air spike, but not close. Yep, yeah, that was a really good setup for um, in the previous game, but man, it looks... Oh, Just Wadi, watch the it. landing. Watch yep. the landing, dude. You're taking damage for it. Yeah, it's kind of rough right now. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Good patience there. I, re I respect it from Wadi because he went for the charge, wanted to see how Ray was going to land, and then react to that one. He just didn't, like I said, if your combos or anything is rough against Banjo, that grenade is frame one. So you have to really respect it. Oh, the grenade actually made that one wing even more safe. Why do you couldn't get a like a up smash punish because of him being blown away? Scary stuff. Wadi pretty much can get sneezed on and die at this point. And yeah, 105. Still yet, still yet to get this stock off. Good for Ray. He he went for he went for that specific option, Ooh. but. Forward air will do it. Mewtwo is a really light character, and a Utopian with Rage indeed. That's going to be all she wrote for that one. Utopian Ray moves up 2 0 over Wadi. I think it was two stock both games, if I recall correctly. Either I... way, uh, Utopian Ray 